welcome back to reality. Uh, today we're gonna talk about my February Ipsy bag. Look at how pretty it is with this black lace. I think it's supposed to be a little bit like lingerie, uh, but I don't care. Look at how cute it is. I got two non-makeup products in my bag and three makeup products. And the non-makeup products that I got, I'm trying to pull up the info. I got a mask. So it's called a five minute facial by the brand BioBell. And I got two of these. Again, when they send masks, they say to send two of them. I love that. Uh, I feel like you just get some extra goodies and I love that they do that. This is a priming mask. So put it on before your makeup and it's apparently supposed to prime the skin. So I put that on before this video. Uh, this says the sheet mask boosts facial texture. Uh, minimizes pores and even skin tone made with tea tree oil rose hip extract and vitamin C to make your skin looking smoother more hydrated super glowy um, so you put it on and oh it said to it said to store it in the fridge for extra benefits it was really chilly when I put it on and I didn't know if that was just because our apartment was chilly or if it was supposed to be cooling and that would make sense how it makes the pores shrink up because that's how you make pores look smaller is uh, put cold stuff on your face. So you put it on after you wash your face and then you take it off after five minutes, rinse your face, and then you can put your makeup on. So I didn't put moisturizer on after. We'll see how this goes. Maybe it's gonna be like the way we make this foundation look really good. If you've been watching my past videos, you've known my frustration with, um, with this foundation. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if there's anything else you need to know. It's paraben free, gluten free, flea, 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 uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if you need to know anything else. On the sheet mask, it had little designs on it, like around the eyes, so that was kind of fun. And then the other non makeup product that I got was a hair product. And this is, I think, my first hair product that I got. Um, now, this is my first time reading the info off of my iPad, so if I'm doing something weird, that you don't like, either let me know or just bear with me. <laughs> um, but this is a Mark Anthony Strengthening Grow Long Leave-In Conditioner. And I really liked it. The first time I used it, I used it when I blow dried my hair. I really wanted to see the full effects of it, so I didn't leave it curly. That it's supposed to be lightweight, I would agree with that. It didn't make my hair feel greasy or heavy. I really liked that. Shiny or silky or smoother. I don't know, my hair's always been pretty, like not super textured, so. Um, I don't know if I would notice that after just one use, um, but it's supposed to make your hair, uh, prevent your hair from splitting and breaking, and so it's supposed to help it grow longer. So we'll see. I mean, I just got this little travel size, and I feel like I used quite a bit of it when I did use it, so um, it might have to be something that I get again to really see how it go, how it does. It says it hydrates and detangles our hair types from straight and fine to thick and curly. Um, and then it tells you how to use it. Yeah, I felt like it was really smooth. It was really easy to put on my hair. It smells really good. And to me, it smells like, whoa, I just squirted some on my shirt. Oops, just wipe that off and put it through my hair. Um, to me, it smells like a hairspray I used like in middle school. I don't know. I don't know if that's, it smells good, um, but I don't know. It smells like a hairspray that I used for like plays in high school or middle school or something. So that was kind of a nostalgic smell. Uh, free from sulfates, parabens, phthalates, things of that sort. And you can find this at Walmart, Walgreens, Ulta, pharmacies, um, pharmacy stores, stuff like that. Um, I liked it. Well, I'll keep using it. I definitely didn't hate it. Okay, and now my makeup products. Finally, Amy, shut up. Oh, I forgot to tell you, the card that came in the bag has unzipped on it. They should have put the um, Ofra unzipped lipstick in this bag. That would have fit the theme. Um, but they've got a picture of all these different kinds of people, men and women in a bunch of different races, um, kind of in their skivvies in different underwears. Um, and I think this month it's about like be like embracing your sexiness, whatever the world says about what sexy is. Uh, being sexy isn't limited to a certain size, shape, or age, and it's definitely not airbrushing images beyond recognition. Um, oh yeah, and all these people are different like sizes and body types and things like that. 
um, this month, let's unzip the way we think about sexy. Let's define it in our own terms. No rules, no Photoshop, no restrictions, no restrictions, <laughs> no restrictions. So that's the um, card thing out <laughs> for this month. Whoa. And then my three makeup products that I got, I got a new brush from Luxie. Uh, this side is the 249, oh, this is just the 249 brush and it's double sided, which is fun. Um, and I feel like I got a brush that looks a lot like this, but I use it a lot, so that's great. And then this one, I don't really have anything like this. Um, it's for really blending in those crease shades. And I got a whole, like, mini palette from Pacifica. So it came in this little thingy and slides out, and it's, like, gold and purple. So I think that's really fun and it has like this holographic designs on the front. Um, it says you can use these shades wet or dry. I did swatch them. Um, it comes with these like this little sponge applicator thing. <laughs> ah, seven year old Amy would be so excited about this. And I think I'm gonna try to do like a, like a halo technique with them. You guys really liked that the last time I did it. So um, I'm gonna do that. And then I got another little, little mini lipstick. Oh, the shade of this eyeshadow palette is Beach Crystals. Vegan, cruelty free, uh, free without parabens and all that stuff. Um, and this little palette, I think was custom arranged for it, the Ipsy bag, specifically for the Ipsy bag. Okay, and then this lipstick is by Mello. It's a matte liquid lip paint in the color, gosh, Taram. Um, and it's described as a mauve nude and it's supposed to work on lots of different skin tones so I don't have anything like this it's kind of like a mauve brown um kind of 90s I've been watching a lot of friends lately so uh that's what that is making me think of um okay so I'm gonna just put some of this now these eyeshadows don't have individual names so I'm gonna put some of this um kind of copper one um in my crease and on the inner and outer corner. So we're just gonna do this. Now I know it's like February's almost done, but um, it's been a busy month for us, so we just haven't, I just haven't had the time to film this. Uh, these are soft, also this brush is so soft, but definitely not precise. So if you're looking for something precise, don't use this kind of a fluffy brush. Maybe I should put this all over the lid. I'm just gonna do that because it's not um, dark enough to feel like I can get it in a precise place or like I need to. So I already have a blush and highlighter on. I used a Pacifica Duo that I got in a previous uh, Ipsy bag, Ipsy. I'm gonna take this all the way up to the brow as well. Now the lightest color in this is like a lavender, so I wouldn't necessarily use that as the highlighter. Yeah, I feel like this brush is definitely not precise. Like I feel like my eyeshadow kind of went everywhere. Um, I think I've got a little bit of fall down. A little, not much. I do have some creasing in my um, under eye. I might have to get a different brush because it seems like this one is not very precise. Very fluffy and very soft, but not precise. And I don't pluck my eyebrows super thin, so I don't have a lot of room uh, for error, if you know what I'm saying. Um, okay, I'm gonna take this next shade in. It's kind of, um, kind of like an olive, actually. Let's swatch that bad boy. It shows up much more copper on my skin than it does in the pan. Let me see if I can show you that. Oh gosh, that lighting is difficult, isn't it? Um, so it kind of looks the same, except darker. Uh, so I'm gonna grab a different brush. And I'm going to put that where I intended to put the other stuff. Now I put the other stuff all over, just all over the lid. It just wasn't, uh, oh my gosh, my words. I'm really struggling with my words right now. It was not precise enough. It was just going everywhere. So I'm gonna take this shade on a more dense brush and go on the outside corner. Now my hope is to use all these shades. So we'll see how that goes in the crease. This is a Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. So I want these purple colors to be on the center of my lid. 
Okay, it definitely is more olive than the first color we used, if you can see that. And it is deepening that, so that's good. And on the inside corner, doing this halo technique that you guys liked a lot last time. And I definitely had fell down with that one, uh, so we'll have to clean that up in a, in a smidge. Okay, so we have that placed around the center of the lid. I'm gonna take just this sponge and try to clean up this fall down that occurred. Okay, now on to the more purple color. So this one's kind of a slate e purple. This one's a true purple and that one's more of a lavender. So let's see. I'm gonna switch back to my new brush because I want to play with it because it's new. But I do wanna take, okay, I'm gonna take that more slate purple, kind of that darker one, and put that just on the outer corner. Sometimes I'm nervous when I'm putting a lot of eyeshadow on that I'm just rubbing off the other eyeshadow that I put on. I'm not actually like adding to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Now this one's more matte. The other ones are kind of a glittery satin. Well, this one still has glitter in it, but um, I think it's more matte than the other ones. I like how this is going so far. Except for the fact that I can hear my sweet babe in the other room being sad. She's with her dad right now. So that I can film, finally film this video. Okay, and then I am going to switch to my new brush. Hmm. And use this flat end for this purple shade. I'm just going to pat that right in the middle. Here. It's showing up lighter on my lid than in the pan. Which is fine. This might mean we use that other lavender as a um, highlight shade. Now these eyeshadows are supposed to be long wearing, so hopefully I'll be able to check back and tell you what I think. Now as I put it on, I kind of blended as I went. So, um, and then I'm gonna take this really light, light lavender and put that under the brow bone and then this inner corner. Now the pigment for this isn't like crazy psycho, but that also could be the brush. Now on my lid, this is looking like a dusty rose, like kind of a rusted look. I have a hair tickling me. I'm gonna use that uh, the same brush and run the more slate color underneath, um, underneath this lash line. It's not slate, it is purple, but it's like, if slate weren't blue, it was purple, if that makes sense. It's kind of like a gray, gray purple. I don't know if that's making any sense at all. Definitely not as pigmented as I thought and kind of halo technique, but mostly I just wanted to try the shadows. Um, I like them. I definitely like this color combination. I don't have anything like this, <sighs> but these aren't, it's weird. Like once I started digging into them, they get like, there's like little bumps in the eyeshadow. And I don't know if that's from the oils getting on the brush and then back into the pan or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll have to do a less rushed look and just see how that goes. Um, I do like the color combination though. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm going to put some mascara on. I'll be right back. I got a little bloop, a little bloop mess up. That's okay. Oh gosh. Q-tip to the rescue. Great. Okay. Let's put this lipstick on. I'm so excited about this lipstick. It might be what I'm most excited about in this in this whole bag. Look at how little and cute it is. Ooh. It's so fun. And I think it'll look good with these li the, these eyes. Okay. Kind of feels thin. I like that the applicator is really short. Definitely neutral, but a statement in itself. I like that a lot. And it's supposed to be really moisturizing, specifically for the winter. I'm in a wedding in April, and I feel like this color would be really perfect for it, because we're supposed to wear, like, basically this color, like a dusty rose. And I feel like it's neutral, but could also go into the evening. Mm. Wow, I like this. Good job, Ipsy. 
Um, yeah, that's my, those are my thoughts on all five of those products as I was using them. I hope you enjoyed it. And, 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 uh, if you decide to get Ipsy, I know lots of people have gotten it because of me, but if you get it through this link that I have, I get rewards points. So check that link down below in the description. Um, so click on that and order your first Ipsy bag through that link and that'll get me rewards points and you'll get the exact same thing you would want anyway. Thanks so much for joining me. I love this lipstick and I don't have anything like it. I'm so excited to use it again. Um, and I will probably do a little review later in the day to just see how things have worn. So far, I'm not noticing a huge difference in my foundation, but that's not what this is all about. So, keep it real. Whoa, those weren't words. Hi, I just wanted to give a little follow up of uh, the makeup I wore today. Um, I'm wearing a different shirt. You're correct. Uh, my first, I have a couple big things. Get this one out of the way. Eyeshadow still looks fine the way that it did when I first put it on. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but my foundation broke up pretty significantly around my nose and I can just like wipe it off. So even though that primer mask is a really clever idea, um, I don't know if it really did anything. <laughs> and, I, and I can tell the areas that my foundation is thinned out throughout the day. My blush still looks pretty good, but I don't know if that's because of the foundation and the priming mask or if that's just because of the blush itself. My concealer has creased, so that didn't really, uh, the priming mask didn't really help with that either. And I don't know if you can tell, but my lipstick is not as pigmented as it was before, but it's definitely still there and it wore really nicely. This is the same application that I put on many hours ago. Let's see, five hours ago? I forget when I filmed, <laughs> but um, it's evening time now. And so this went through a cup of tea and supper and some snacks. So this lasted pretty well. Um, and even though it's matte, it didn't really, okay, now it's like dried down completely. But um, even into the evening, which is like now-ish, um, it stayed a little bit, I don't wanna say tacky, but it wasn't dry wet I don't know um and so it wasn't necessarily transfer proof but it was still matte but because it didn't dry down totally dry it still felt pretty good on the skin and didn't feel tight like some matte lipsticks are like when you try to smile and uh this one didn't feel that way still doesn't feel that way I think those are my thoughts I'm gonna wash my face because I, I need to get this off. I'm not used to wearing makeup all day, so I like really need to get it off before I have some sort of dessert of some kind. I think that's all I have to say. Keep it real. Bye.